Hi, this is Dr. Vinay. I am consultant hepatologist at Narayana Health, Bangalore. Today on this special day of World Hepatitis Day, I'll try to speak a few things about hepatitis and how it can affect our liver. If you consider hepatitis is nothing but infection or inflammation of liver due to it can be caused by various number of causes but one among them is viral infections. Among them the virus which can affect specifically for liver are usually phi in number that is usually described as hepatitis A, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, hepatitis D and hepatitis E. Among these the two viruses that is hepatitis A and hepatitis E are usually caused by waterborne or foodborne infections and usually affects younger individuals and can cause problems in the form of jaundice subsequently in few number of patients it can progress to liver failure while the other three that is hepatitis b c and d are usually transmitted with either blood or blood related products transmission from an infected patients or to a non-infected patient it can also be transmitted when you either use a infected needle from an infected patient or it can be transmitted from mother to child or it can be transmitted through unprotected sex with an individual who has been affected previously with this infection. So I talked about how it can be it can spread from one individual to another individual. Now is there any way that we can identify or to identify ourselves whether we have this kind of infection? Yes, definitely multiple tests are available. But most of the patients and most of the individuals are not aware that they are having this infection because it can be silent and it is something called asymptomatic stage. Only when the symptoms start occurring, the problems would have continued beyond a stage where it can be easily reversed. So when we consider hepatitis A and hepatitis E, it usually causes acute infection while the hepatitis B, C and D can cause something like a chronic viral infection of the liver leading to chronic hepatitis in the individual. Now what is this chronic hepatitis? Any individual who has been affected by this liver can be completely asymptomatic for several decades and only show symptoms related to liver or liver related problems only in the later stage. What's the problem then? The problem is the condition would have progressed to a stage where the damage would have been irreparable. So identifying those individuals in an early stage or just after the infection is a key component so that the progression of the disease can be halted. Now what are the symptoms of these patients? Usually whenever the viral infection occurs they usually have a non liver related kind of symptoms like fever, myalgia, nausea, vomiting. Only few individuals can develop jaundice or yellowish discoloration of eyes or urine. But the most of them usually settle without any further progression in the symptoms. But as the years progress, virus can remain dormant in our body and progress will really damage the liver. So how we can identify? Any individual, if they have symptoms like chronic fatigue, weight loss, decreased appetite, be having these kind of diseases or any patients who have unexplained via, uh, fever or unexplained alteration in their liver function test can harbor these kind of viruses. So next point would be, can we identify these viral infections by simple tests? Yes, definitely. Some of the viral infections have a good test in the form of hepatitis B, hepatitis B surface antigen test. For hepatitis C, we have antibody measurement, which can help us to detect whether these individuals have been affected or not. And if these tests are positive, they may need further workup to identify the level of infection and subsequently can be treated accordingly. So testing is not a problem. It's only the awareness among the people which is lacking currently. So World Health is organizing this World Hepatitis Day to create awareness. This year's theme is bringing the hepatitis care near to you is the theme of the celebration. Now, bringing care also requires the participation from the people because hepatitis can't wait. The progression can't wait. The liver problems, if it is progressing, can't wait. 
and subsequently the problems lead to complications and problems leading to death. Over 80 million people in Southeast Asian region alone get are affected by hepatitis B and hepatitis C and over a million death occurs every year all over the world either these infection related chronic liver disease or complications related to that. So awareness is very important. If you are aware and you get tested early, the problems can be solved early and the progression of the problems can be halted. So with these few words, I would like to stop uh, the talking and bring to your notice that we are happier to bring the care closer to you, but we need your participation and in the participation in return can be helpful in preventing this deadly disease which is affecting the mankind. Thank you.